Okay. Question number four now. This has actually got parts A, B, C, D, and E, and we do the second and the fourth and fifth bits over the page. Um, work out the answer to this. Well, you can do it by column if you want, or you can just do it in your head. It doesn't matter how you do it. If you do it as a column, 0, 0, 0, carry the 1, 8, 9, 10, you're going to get 10,000. So the total is 10,000. But then you need to convert, uh, convert that into words, so you get one mark for getting that. And then you just convert it into words for the second mark. 10,000. Nice, easy two marks. Write this to the nearest 100. Well, 7 is in the 100 space, and we check out the 48 here. 48 is below 50, so it's going to stay as 5,700. If it was 50 or 51 or 52 or anything above 50, then we would um, round that up to 5,800. What value is the digit 3 in this? Well, the digit 3 is here. So that's units, tens, hundreds. So it's 3,000 is the value. Okay, so it's valued at 3,000. Next two bits. Write down the positive square root of 100. Well, the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So that's one mark. And which one of these is equal to a million? Or just before we do that, that's because 10 times 10 is 100. I hope you remember that. Okay, so the square root of 100 is just one of these 10s. It's this one here. Okay. So which of these is equal to 1 million? Well, a million, if we write a million out to help us, we write it out and it's got six zeros, isn't it? So it must be 10 to the power of six. And that's our final mark.